Hey everybody, I've had a few requests to make the armrest that I have on my new nail desk. It was an inexpensive way to make one. Uh, I know they can be quite pricey if you're buying them from the nail supply stores. In Canada, they run anywhere from $35 to $45. So I bought a few, uh, like I said, inexpensive products. And, and the nice thing about it, when you buy all this stuff, you actually have enough to make two or three of the armrests. So if I end up getting my one to stain, then I can always replace it with making a new one. So anyways, I'm gonna show you here. Like I said, there's the armrest and I have it Velcroed on my nail desk. And the Velcro that I'm using is from Walmart. It's just called a, a Velcro Sticky Back Fastener. So there's the box. And I think that ran maybe about $5, $6 for the package. And of course they're gonna last you a long time. As you can see, there's quite a few in there. And then I went to the dollar store and I bought this cork board. This is the size of it. I'm gonna be cutting it, or I did cut it. So I'm just gonna put that down and I'll show you the width. And if you guys want the measurements of what I did cut, please let me know and I'll put it in the description. I do have to cut a little more off this. I had to use two pieces because the cork board wasn't quite long enough. But you could also use a thin piece of board. That would work as well. You would just need a, a staple gun that was a little bit with stronger with uh, thicker staples. So I'm just using a normal desktop stapler with this. So the cork board works really well. And then it's nice and soft, even though it will be on the bottom, the cork board, when we're all done. And I also bought this uh, memory foam from uh, Walmart and it's 40 by 40 by two centimeters. And I was able to get three or four armrests out of this package. And uh, yeah, so just, I know Walmart carries a bunch of different uh, thickness ones. So if you want it a little thicker, you can obviously buy thicker. And of course I needed scissors and I need some duct tape. And then I also, the most important thing, I got this faux leather. And what I did is I just went to a local fabric store and I actually got quite a big piece cut. It didn't cost me very much, so I thought I might as well get some extra. So if I ever need to make another armrest, I have a bunch and I'm gonna be able to get two more armrests out of this piece that I have here. So go and ask for, like I said, um, you can decide how, how much you want it but it's really inexpensive. So uh, anyways, I am going to show you here exactly what I do. I already cut that cork board to the width and the length that I want. So now I'm just gonna grab a pen and we are going to just draw the line just for cutting out that foam uh, so to make sure we get it pretty straight. Now, if you wanna get it really straight and really take your time, you could use a ruler. I just am gonna show you this quickly and it still works really well. So we'll get started drawing the lines to, so we know the width to cut it out. Okay, there it is, now that we have it drawn out. Now I'm gonna grab my scissor and we'll be cutting out those lines. Okay, now that's done, I'm just gonna get rid of my scraps so I can show you how we're gonna make it.
Okay, so I'm going to grab that faux leather and I'll open it up. As you can see, it's quite a wide piece. Obviously, we're not going to need all of that for just one armrest. So I'm going to put my foam on top. And then I'll grab my uh, cork board and we'll stick that on top of that once we get it where we want it. And you can see here how uh, far away I am from the edges because you're going to be folding it over. Okay, so I'm going to be grabbing my scissor and we're obviously going to have to cut some of that faux leather because I have way too much. So I'll show you where I'll be cutting it. And at this point, it doesn't have to be perfect, the line when I cut it. Now, if you want, you can take a ruler, like I said, and make a really nice straight line, but I'm just kind of going to eye it and cut it. And that's how much material, material, pardon me, you're going to want on that side. And I'll just get rid of that extra right now. Okay, so I want the cork board, like I said, to be right over top of that memory foam. And then we're going to just take it and we're going to try and tightly pull it on this side. And then I'm going to grab my stapler and we're going to put some staples in. I just zoomed it up a bit so you can see it better. I'll just make sure I get it on here good. Okay, and then we're just going to open up that stapler because it's a desktop one, which works just fine. And then we're going to staple along that line. I usually put quite a few just to make sure it's on there nice and tight. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the other side over, and this is where you want to make sure it's nice and snug. So you give it a good pull before you start stapling the other side. And as you can see, my cut wasn't perfect, but that's okay because that's going to end up being covered up anyways in the end. So we'll just get it nice and snug, like I said, and then I'll start stapling along that line. Again, you want quite a few. The nice thing about the cork board, it gives something for the staples to dig into, yet it also um, makes it so that the staples aren't going to be poking your clients. So there it is. Like I said, it's nice and snug. Now we're going to do the uh, sides. And what you're going to do is you're just going to fold it over like you would a Christmas present or birthday present when you're doing the sides. And you just want to make sure, again, it's nice and snug up to that cork board on the end. And I will put a few staples in here. And they don't stay in maybe quite as well right here, but I just want to just to help me hold it until I flip it up. Okay, I'm going to take it and pull up that flap and we're going to make sure that's nice and tight as well. Again, you want a few staples. You want to make sure it stays until you're finished. Okay, so I'm going to flip it around and we'll do the other side the exact same way.
Okay, now that we're done with stapling, I'm taking some duct tape. I love duct tape. It works really well and it sticks nicely. You don't have to worry about it coming up. So I'm just taking it along where I stapled along the whole length of this and then we'll cut it once we get it to the right length. And there it is. Okay, so I'm now gonna take in another piece of that duct tape and do that other side. You just wanna make sure you cover up all the staples and the edges so that like, you don't have a chance of it coming up ever. And then you can uh, sanitize it and clean it and you're not gonna to have to worry about anything getting inside that armrest. Zoom out so you can see better what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna add one more in the middle and then I might add one more at the other one side. We'll see here once we get the middle on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add one more to the end here and then we'll be done. Remember, this is the part of the armrest that's underneath. So you'll just wanna make sure you don't get it over the sides of the tape because you don't wanna see it and uh, yeah, it won't be noticeable. Okay, now that the tape's down nice, I'm just gonna put it up to my other armrest. And, and you can see there's a little bit of a line on top that will actually go away as I use it. I sometimes make sure that the top part doesn't have any lines in it, but it will uh, go away, like I said, as you clean it, so it's okay. Now, what I would do, I won't stick them on this one, but I'll show you. You would put the Velcro piece on the bottom and stick it. It has a sticky side, and then you take the other piece of the Velcro, and that would go on the table, and you can either uh, just put it, like I did, in the middle, as you see. And there it is on my desk. Or you could put it on each side. You could have two or three of them. It's up to you. I find just having it in the middle is good enough. The armrest isn't moving around for my clients. So it works perfect. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you do have any questions about the uh, armrest, please ask me below. And it is, uh, like I said, a very inexpensive way of doing this. A lot cheaper than buying them from a nail supply store. And they're really comfortable for my clients to put their arms on, obviously, when I'm doing their nail service. So, again, um, any questions, ask below. And I should let you guys know, I did start a new Facebook group called Nail Tech Support and YouTube Suggestions. So, please look that up i will put that link below and it's of course gonna be all about nails support with uh, nail techs and any suggestions on future videos like this one that you need me to do so anyways uh, please check that out and please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye